I'm Nick Baser with Geoprobe Systems. Today I'm going to be talking to you about our electric actuator, otherwise known as our mechanical pump actuator. So what do we use this system for? So the electric actuator is used to help you collect groundwater samples in the field. Uh, that's either if you're using an inertia style pump, otherwise known as a check valve pump, or if you're using a Geoprobe mechanical style pump, either bladder pump or syringe pump. So we've made some recent updates with the system. Uh, there's three of those. I'm going to walk through that, talk to you, and tell you what they've done, how they help you, um, and then we're going to go over how to set that up in the field. So if we look on the table here, we have our electric actuator, have it laying on its side. The first update I'm going to tell you about is the universal rod clamp adapter. With the universal rod clamp, we can now use it on most any type, most any size of rods or PVC pipe. So with this clamp, we can use half inch up to two inch nominal PVC, and we can use uh, one inch up to two and a quarter inch geoprobe rods. Um, the next update I'm gonna tell you about is the new design on the tubing clamp. Now we have this new design on the front where we simply move the latch off the front of the block, put the tubing in, put the latch black, and then we can crimp the tubing down and hold it in place. The third update that I'm going to tell you about is we can now use an 18 volt Milwaukee battery that plugs directly into the back of the actuator and can run the entire system. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. We have inch and three quarter geoprobe rods in the ground with an SP19 down hole. Um, we're going to set the electric actuator onto the rods. I'm going to send tubing down hole with an inertia style check ball on it and we're going to show you how to hook that up. So what I've just done, I've put the electric actuator on our inch and three quarter rods, I've tightened our universal rod clamp holder, and I've put our 18 volt battery onto the back of the actuator. What I'm going to do now is send our pump and tubing down hole, and I'm going to show you how to attach the tubing to the block here. So now I've installed our tubing onto the block here and we're ready to turn our actuator on and collect some groundwater samples. On the side of the actuator we have an on off switch and a speed dial. You can turn the pump on and you can adjust the speed, the pump rate at which you want to collect your samples. In summary of what we've talked about today, with the new designs of the electric actuator, it's more easily used in the field, it's more versatile for your project, and the cost is much more effective as we have reduced the cost by roughly half of what the system used to cost.